What's up guys? I hope you're having a good night, day, morning, evening, whatever you're doing. I hope you're doing it good. So just recently this year, my Panasonic GH5, I don't know if it was because of firmware update or whatever, but the cards that I used to use, these Lexar Professionals, 128 gigs, started started freezing on me and they'd say, unable to write any more data, we can't keep up with the speeds. And they were just becoming more and more inconsistent. So I started looking into higher speed cards and the higher speed cards are very pricey and I needed at least four cards for my cameras and I was looking at, I mean, some of them were like 250, $300. Well, eventually I came across the Sony M series card. It's 128 gigabytes, read speed, 260 megabits per second, write speed, 100 megabits per second. And I read the reviews, they all checked out. I got the card, I got four of these cards, and I put it in my cameras, and I've been testing them for the last few days, and I've been testing them at the high 400 megabits per second write speed, and haven't had any issues at all. Now, I didn't just do some simple tests, like let the camera run for five minutes. I was running these and maxing them out. I would run them till they were almost out of memory, and then I would stop recording and shut the camera off right away, just to see if I'd get any you know, the writing or writing wheel. And I didn't get any air with any of the cards. And these cards are only about $90. And they also have a five year warranty. So if the card breaks or your information is lost, they'll send you a new card. They won't replace the information that you lost. But if you buy this from Amazon for an extra like $6, you can add a three year recovery warranty, which I would highly recommend because if your card crashes a year, two years from now, you'll be able to send it in. They will recover the data for you for $6. If you don't get it and your card crashes, you're going to be looking at paying in between like $500 to $1,000 just to recover what's on one of these memory cards. So there it is, the Sony. M series it's SDXC UHS-2 it will work with those high speed cameras like the Panasonic GH5 400 megabits per second you won't have any problems with the Sony A7R3 A7S3 or the A7 uh 3 cuz most of those write at 300 megabits per second so this is going to be a really good reliable card and it's not going to break the bank so I'll put a link in the description. That's that. Thanks for watching.